The Dayton blower comes with a 90 degree flange. It's 90 degrees on all four sides. The bottom side, we're gonna have to bend another 90 degrees to make it 180, to make it flat, so it can mount to the panel. So we're gonna bend the flange. Depending on what tools you have will depend on what you're gonna be able to use. We're using a big monkey wrench, big adjustable wrench. I put it in there, I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna incrementally go from one side to another so I don't tweak it too much. gonna keep doing it until it's about 90 degree you might have to take a hammer or something flatten it out a little now we want to mount the blower to the panel first thing we're gonna do is take off the blower inlet flange you can use quarter inch driver or you can use a flathead screwdriver So now you want to take the foam gasket that was provided with the blower mount panel and you want to apply it around this edge. We're going to take this or anything that you can poke a hole with and we're going to poke holes in the foam so you can get the screws through when we do the next step. Now we want to mount the blower to the panel. So I'm going to put the blower up like that and take the panel off. I'm going to put the panel over it and I'm going to match up the, the bigger holes in the panel with the flange holes. I'm going to put the bolts through. I'm not even going to tighten them. I'm just doing it so it's easier for me to find these holes. Now that those are in there, I can find these holes a lot easier. I'm going to put the flange over. The Dayton blower is now mounted to the panel. We're ready to roll. And remember, it can be top discharge or bottom discharge. It's reversible.